What's, What's up, up guys? Baby? Zach Scott. I tried Scott. to predict which one you'd say. Okay, Zach Scott is here with Ashley Scott. Ashley, how you doing? I'm all right. All right, good. We're playing the Walking Dead game, episode five, the final episode of this game. Lee looks pretty tired, missing an arm, and uh, kind of exhausted. Uh, some people question whether that was the right choice. I too question whether it was the right choice. Hospital must have run out of doctors. Hospital must have run out of doctors. I was pretty sure from reading the comic Some that you need to cut off a limb dispel. that gets bitten. Or yeah, you're die. looks like whoever was up here painting that sign okay. went ass over tea kettle. Yeah, just from watching the TV show, I thought the same thing. He or she walked away from whatever accident happened. And that doesn't really mean much. So we found some tracks. <laughs> <laughs> well, now people walking away from an accident can mean that they died. That is true. <laughs> Let's talk to Ben. It's a little push. Yeah, <laughs> can, I, can I just push him off now? I saved you for the pleasure of doing it myself. See anything? There's a fire escape here, and that's about it. You came with me. You didn't think I would? It's like you said, Clementine has been my biggest, well, only real fan. <laughs> I'd be a big piece of crap if I didn't. <laughs> you still want to die? <laughs> I'll ask him. You still want to die? I'm more afraid of getting someone else killed. <laughs> I hope that's not foreshadowing. Well, you're here. Don't get me killed. I won't. Are you afraid? I'm still afraid of getting eaten. More than ever. If we get over to that bell tower, we might have some impact on all those walkers out there. But then we just run through the streets? I don't know. What do you think? I think I'm staring down at my worst nightmare. Just a dusty haze of death. Try to keep your shit together. I need to get off this roof. And I'll help him off by pushing him. Not really. I want to do that. Throw football all the way to the clock tower <laughs> <laughs> to ring the bell. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. <laughs> Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not going to want to. I don't get it. She won't want to live. That looks like Crawford Square over there. I think it's what he means. Fire escape. Let me go talk to more. Wait, no. I, I think I was going to... Do I want to talk to him? Give him a little push. Nah. Okay, I already I'll talked just, to him. Uh, Maybe. Uh, it's taking a minute, actually. Sorry. I, I know I shouldn't. What's going on? That's uh, just... Everything. Fuck, man. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I do. I can't thank you enough for what you did for Duck. I don't know how I'd be if you hadn't. Don't dwell on it. I look at where we are. Right now. And I can't imagine Cat and Duck and all this mess. Kid. No. No, I I'm sorry. We're in a fucking hurry to get off this roof. It's it's not the time. I'm sorry. I'm okay. There's a bell tower over there. We know what those do. Yeah. Could be part of how we get through the streets. Yeah. Yeah. How many you think are wandering around underneath us right now? In the hospital? Thousands. I mean, who knows? It was full of dead before, right? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. And out there? Look at that dust. <laughs> Fuck, man, who knows? Any thoughts about anything else? Nah, I'm alright. Just needed to take a second. I'll keep an eye out over here. Sorry. What you okay, man. You just lost your whole family. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like yesterday. Seriously. All right, I'm going to go over here and talk to more people. This is a chit-chat episode. What is that? I don't know. I'm going to look at the door. I'm just going to look at the door. Not going back in there. <laughs> no, I didn't think he would want to. Hey, at least it's not your dominant hand. That's that the would church be rough. across the street from the mansion. It's true. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. I might have a way to clear us a path. I can make it to that bell tower. 
I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. There's a ladder in the background. That's the church across the street from yeah, the mansion. I already looked at it. River Street should be just beyond that. What do you think the dust is from, Ashley? I have no idea. I'm gonna talk to... What's her name? Krista. Anything over here? Honestly, my vision isn't great. I think it's allergies or all that shit those walkers are kicking up. Allergies. Shit. People used to get those. <laughs> no, they right. still do. <laughs> never see anybody in an end-of-the-world story with hay fever. It's not the time to get wistful. I know. It's this deal with Clem. It's everything. It's put this rage inside me like I can't even say. I used to get allergies, too, and just... Fuck. <laughs> Who was that guy? Someone with priorities? I was thinking you and Omid wouldn't come with me. We Omid. can't stop looking out for each other. You two have been solid since day one. What's this? Day three? Four? Seriously. Well, I appreciate it. Got any good ideas for getting through that uh, herd? I'm working on it. Are you going to be able to hang in there? I have to. The mansion's that way. Yeah. If we can use that bell tower to bring them to that side of the hospital. Yeah, yeah. It won't be an easy trip back toward River Street, but it wouldn't be impossible. I'm with you. Just have to get over there. All right, so we know the plan. We know what I got to do. I'm just talking to people right mm -hmm. now, seeing what they have to say. I've actually thought about that. About in a, what? In an apocalypse situation, having allergies. Because I have really bad allergies and asthma. Like, how would I treat that? I would probably die. Well, I will bury you. <laughs> What's up over here? Bell tower. You gotta make That's sure you shoot me in the head. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> that could help. I'm gonna make him think he thought of the idea. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're Clem's favorite, you know that? Clem's favorite? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's a big fan. You get away with shit I never would. We're getting her back, Lee. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah. When we get this fucker, we'll get out of sight and leave you with him. No. Get me? I get you. How's the leg? It's good. Wouldn't mean shit if you hadn't left Clementine with me when you went into Crawford. That little girl saved my life. She's something, right? Huh. Yeah. I wonder if he would have died if I had taken mm -hmm. Clementine with me. Probably. Really? I'll have to check into that. They have a, they have a way of keeping people alive they want to keep alive and killing yeah. people they want to kill. I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. There's, okay. You know, there's a ladder. Be careful, though. I don't want you going any sooner than you have to. Thanks. But I don't want to go at all. <laughs> Let's just jump to the bell tower. With the bell tower on this side of the hospital, and the mansion over there, uh, that might be our way off this rooftop. All right, all right. Make it to that bell tower. All right, we get the it. Walkers down to that side of the hospital. I get it. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. I totally get it. Jump! No way. <laughs> it's higher than this roof of stars. <laughs> Jump! No way. Ah. <laughs> it's higher than this roof for starters. All right, all right. Let's talk to... Lee, uh, coward. There's Omid. Look at Gap. There's a Gap. No way I'm jumping that. All right. Well, let's uh, let's take a step back. Take that a step. ladder, I think, is what you'll need. Yeah, the ladder. But also there's the fire escape <laughs> down there. Maybe I can go down and find another item or something. But this ladder over here does look interesting and never really gave me the option to pick it up, but there we go. Look at ladder. It's an extension ladder. Perfect. Pick it up. <laughs> Man, I am missing an Whoa. arm. You need some help with that? No. I got it. <laughs> I'm still Don't be that. all touchy about nobody help me. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm having quite oh, the shit. trouble. All right, that worked though. Man, somebody hold that ladder. The bells. Yeah, yeah, we talked about this. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. 
Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My yeah. Mike's feeling better. Let me do it. No, no, no. I'll do it. No, I got this. Yeah, Ben will do it. <laughs> we have to decide who takes a risk like this. It should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. I'm sending Ben. <laughs> <laughs> All right, please no quick Somebody time events. Somebody please hold the ladder. Yeah, seriously, just. Oh man, why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Because <laughs> the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> hold the ladder. Somebody hold it. Climb to the bell tower. Here we go. Okay, my little arm right here is missing. I should have carried my. I should have picked up my arm, kept it in my back pocket or something, you know. In case it could be sewn back on. Oh shit! No, just for like oh, aesthetics. Oh Jesus! Ah! Oh god! Oh no! Don't hurt! It. Oh, poor zombie! Oh, fuck! Holy shit, man! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, I'm missing an I'm arm. I'm fine. I'm missing an arm. <laughs> I was wishing I had my other hand. <laughs> oh shit! Try to find another way out of there. Uh, I guess that's a good idea. That's the problem. After you get amputated for a long time, you feel like that limb is still there, and it feels like it's still there, and your reflex is like, "I want to pick up this glass of water." You go reach for it with your stump. It's locked. Or like shit. you're like, "I gotta jack the off now." The accident here's locked. And, you reach, and you're like, "Oh, there's you're like, no. oh, I gotta use my weak arm." It sucks. This, so this is locked or something? Is that all there is to it? It's locked? That's it? Alright. Ah, shit! Grr, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got the rope, obviously. What's this? Look at the bell. Two solid rings of this and there'll be thousands down below. Maybe I'll just run and jump to the roof. And then you'll be deaf after that big... Oh, seriously. <laughs> ...bell ring right in your ear. I'll be deaf and armless. Oh no, no help hospital. I'm ringing it. It's hurting my ears. But it's necessary. They're coming this way. Tons of them. Jesus. Now get back here. Yeah, okay. Coming. Not. You guys go on without me. Oh, man. Is going to make you drop from window to window with one arm? Like your freaking Assassin's Creed guy or whatever? I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. Oh, my God. Ow. I'm so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I wanted to say. Click. Jump to ledge. Here we go, we got this. I'll try to use the bell rope in some way. Uh, I jumped, I jumped, I jumped. <laughs> I made it. The armless dude made it. That Good hurt, goddamn dude. leap, pal. Still got my legs. High Let's five, get the Ashley. Off this roof. Yeah. We Smack did it. it. All right, 